Mosaic is the world's leading producer of potash and phosphate. We are also warrior fans. Whether we're supplying the best crop nutrition for your fields or cheering for our teams at Mosaic Place, we're proud to be a part of your community. Welcome, everybody, to the first edition of Warriors TV brought to you by Mosaic. I'm James Gallo from Country 100, the play-by-play -play voice of your Moose Jaw Warriors. Now, here on Warriors TV, we are going to take an in-depth look at your team. We'll talk to players and coaches. More to the Moose is going to stop by. One of the players will join us with some tips on how to improve your skills. We'll have the Warriors Plays of the Week and much, much more for you to enjoy. Now, seeing as though this is our first episode, what a great opportunity to take a look at our brand new downtown facility, Mosaic Place. Was the Moose Jaw Warriors second overall 2011 Bantam draft pick. Email your answer to video at mjwarriors.com. If you've got the correct answer, you could win some great prizes. Winning face-offs is a small detail that can go a long way. After the break, James Henry will join us with tips on how you can win your next big face-off. Mosaic crop nutrients help growers to produce healthier, more abundant food and to meet growing demand. We teach farmers best practices for soil and water management. Mosaic knows agriculture. Large or small, Mosaic helps farmers achieve greater yields using sustainable practices with minimal impact on the environment. I help the world grow the food it needs. My name's James Henry. We'll show you three different ways to win a face-off, using your strength, speed, and using your feet. 
So first you want to get low. If you, have, if you feel more comfortable turning your hand over for power, you can do that. And you want to tie up a stick quickly if you're using your, your strength. So you want to get low and get your blade on his blade as quick as you can. And you know, if you're, if you're a real strong guy, you can push him back or you can just use your stick all the way. Okay, so using your quickness, you wanna get your stick in there and anticipate the puck drop as quick as possible. Using your feet, you wanna tie up a stick and get your body into the circle as quick as possible. Don't go anywhere. Coming up after the break, we'll sit down with Moose Jaw Warriors head coach, Mike Stuthers. Whether we're moving 100 car unit trains of potash through the Canadian Rockies or 50,000 ton shiploads of phosphate through the Suez Canal, Mosaic's integrated supply chain distributes crop nutrients to more than 40 countries worldwide. Our global distribution channels are unequal in the industry. Customers count on us to deliver the right product to the right place at the right time, every time. I help the world grow the food it needs. I'm James Gallo, and welcome to Yara Sitting with Stutz, joined by Warriors head coach Mike Stuthers. And Mike, let's talk about yourself first off. Uh, how did you like the adjustment coming to Moose Jaw? Well, so far it's been great. Uh, enjoyed it. It's been uh, very professionally run from uh, the board and Alan Miller on down. And uh, you know what? It's been a great experience for my wife and I. We enjoy uh, junior hockey and uh, the level of competition that we've experienced. Now, have you had the opportunity to go inside the old Moose Jaw Civic Center before coming into Mosaic Play? I was in it once, James, and uh, that was enough. Uh, <laughs> saw it. I can't believe, um, you know, the difference between the old building and this, obviously, this new one and, and the uh, improvements. And uh, But I'll tell you what, I, I could tell that there's a great atmosphere in that old bu building. Probably very tough for the visiting team to play in, and I'm sure they won some games because of it. Well, the atmosphere here in Moose Jaw is pretty electric at times. What's it like on the bench for you guys? It's, uh, it's good. I mean, uh, we've had some great crowds. We've had some uh, terrific support. Um, I don't know if it's as loud as the old building with uh, the concourse being as open as it is, but uh, they've certainly been supportive, and uh, I think it's been reflective in our home record. You came from the Atlanta Thrashers organization, and you've also spent time in the American Hockey League. How does maybe Mosaic Place compare to some of the other facilities? I know it's tough to compare it to an NHL barn, but maybe some of the other rinks that you've been in. Well, overall, James, I'm pretty impressed with what we have here in uh, Mosaic. I mean, it's terrific. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, you, you've played in some NHL rinks that uh, are pretty new and, and outstanding, and um, each rink has a lot to offer. I think uh, Mosaic is right up there with all the uh, junior uh, teams in, in all the leagues, whether it be the Ontario League or Quebec League, um, did have an experience to go out uh, on the U.S. side of things. Some impressive rinks out there. Spokane has a very nice one as well, but, uh, you know, again, um, I think this is a very inviting building for uh, the fans. I think it's great for our players. They like to be here. Uh, they don't. Uh, they lack for nothing. The dressing room is spectacular, so it's a real good place to come and play some hockey. Now, when you were hired by the Moose Jaw Warriors, did you get the gears from a lot of people saying, "Oh, wait till that Saskatchewan winter"? You've been spoiled pretty much so far, hey? I know. I can't believe it. It's been terrific. Uh, you know what? Everybody told me about the horrors of the the winter and the temperature drops, and I think we only experienced one week of. Uh, I think it was minus 44 the one day when I got up and. Uh, that was an eye-opener, but it hasn't been too bad at all. It's been great. I'm still wearing Crocs, so it can't be that bad. <laughs> uh, Mike, uh, take us through an average day uh, for yourself. Maybe some people aren't aware uh, what a head coach does you know, on a Monday morning at 9 o'clock. Take us through an average day for yourself. 
Well, I mean, it depends on the schedule, obviously, and what we've played the previous weekend and what we've got in the upcoming week. But uh, usually, uh, you know, the schedule's worked out that the Sunday has been off on most uh, occasions for the players, and I, we try to get them a day off a week uh, completely away from the rink unless they have injuries or treatments that they need to come in for. Um, Mondays are typically uh, a little bit longer on the ice um, due to the schedule and uh, most of the games are on the weekends. We have uh, Breakfast Club Dryland uh, that uh, starts uh, 9 o'clock. Uh, the school kids go to school, obviously. The guys that aren't uh, come in. Um, they'll have a weight circuit or uh, a bike circuit or uh, similar today. They've got, uh, they got themselves over at the field house playing some uh, dodgeball and some uh, flag football. I hope it's flag football, <laughs> not tackle. Um, and then... Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, video prep for, uh, you know, the games you've played or the upcoming opponents. Uh, then we have practice. We're on the ice at 3 o'clock. And uh, earlier on in the year, James, we were going, uh, you know, with a longer practice, practice for maybe an hour, get a flood, go back out as the season went on. Uh, you know, you cut it down to about an hour or depending upon your schedule. And uh, you try to cram as much as you can in on ice. Uh, then we'll uh, usually have some video after practice or um, a, a meeting to kind of uh, talk about the rest of the week and uh, the players are usually out of here by 6, 6.30 uh, Mondays they have study hall if there's school guys and then uh, there's various, uh, you know, maybe they have a movie night or whatever so it's a pretty long day but, uh, you know, it's very enjoyable and uh, as a coach uh, there's no better place to be than at the rink a question for your favorite Moose Jaw Warrior? Email video at mjwarriors.com. The answer could be coming up on the next edition of Warriors TV. My hockey idol growing up was Jose Theodore. Uh, my hockey idol growing up was probably uh, pra Patrick Waugh. Yeah. Uh, my hockey idol growing up would have to be Bobby Orr. I, mean, I never never got to see him play, but I loved watching his games. and uh, had this clip of uh, Hockey's Greatest Legends, and I watched that clip over and over again. So he was my idol growing up, even though I play nothing like him now. Well, obviously my hockey idol growing up was uh, Wayne Gretzky. Uh, he's always the best out there and still is the best, so yeah. Uh, my hockey idol growing up is probably Anson Carter because he's my uh, dad's favorite player. Uh, fondest hockey moment would be playing in the U16s with uh, a bunch of my friends from back home. Uh, Cody Beach was there as well. Uh, my fondest hockey moment was probably winning uh, the state championship when I lived in Seattle. My fondest hockey moment was probably getting drafted into the NHL by Atlanta. I mean. Uh, I was watching on the computer that day, my computer froze and uh, Dylan McElrath actually called me from the, from the draft and he was the first person to tell me, so that was kind of cool. Uh, my best hockey memory growing up obviously was, uh, was OT and we actually uh, went down to 3-on-3 three -three in an uh, Adam tournament and uh, won the finals there, it was a pretty cool moment. Uh, probably going to the Westerns and getting bronze in a uh, AAA there with the Monarchs. Fondest non-hockey moment? Uh, Winning my first game of Sewer Ball. Uh, fondest non-hockey moment was uh, probably just when I was out in Notre Dame, probably just having fun with the guys out there. Uh, one of my greatest non-hockey moments was uh, going to Disney World with my family. I mean, I've been looking forward to it all as a kid, and I was kind of older. I might have been grade se grade eight, grade seven, and uh, it was just a great experience. Uh, you know, I'm not the greatest in school, and I made honor roll in uh, grade eight, and I was a pretty good honor. I'm blanking right now. Uh, I don't have one. Well, here I'm sitting in the house of the Moose Jaw Warriors, but in today's edition of RBC Cribs, we'll head to the billet house of Warriors captain Kendall McFall and 17-year-old rookie Tanner Eberly.
I'm Kendall McFall. And I'm Tanner Everly. Welcome to our billet hole. Here we have the living room where we spend our mornings watching Sports Center and eating breakfast. This is our kitchen where we chef, chef up all our nice breakfast. We got the uh, big cereal guy here. We got the uh, Fruit Loops, Lucky Charms, my favorite. This is our uh, whiteboard. We just write whatever we want on there and uh, Heather will go and pick it up usually the same day that it's written down. So it's a nice feature to have. Over here is where we have all our uh, family dinners. See there's still zoodles from lunch sitting on the table. It's where uh, the whole family gets together and you know talk about the day, have some fun, jokes around. Uh, Taco Tuesday is our favorite day. Tanner tries to eat as many tacos as he can. And it's Tuesday. I'm excited. That's what we're having tonight. Walk into the basement. This is uh, the entry to the cave. It's our lair where we spend most of our time. This is uh, our fridge downstairs, one of the best features to the cave, always stocked full of drinks. Here's our drinks, we got our uh, Gatorade for pre-game, uh, Fruitopia, a little bit of everything, waters, Peach juice. a little tomato mix once in a while, whatever you need, we got it. Yeah, the cat, a little skittish, really probably, probably afraid of the big camera. Hey Molly? <laughs> got my, my big TV and the gaming station over there, that way we can uh, game together and still talk, not be distracted by each other's TV. We've got all the stickers on the wall, added features that we threw down here in the cave. Me and Kendall put together on uh, Microsoft Word, we call the curve box. Uh, you know, Mike doesn't like when we uh, miss it, so we got to have reminders all over the house. Got the mini sticks nets here. We have a host of cave signature series. You see the, the trophy up here. here. Guys come over, we play teams of two. Got the pads for slap shot regatta. Tanner's, he straps them on, shows his stuff. Might even stay better than Siemens, but you know, we won't tell anybody that. Everybody's got their own custom-made stick sign. <laughs> took it over the burner. Usually set up obstacles around so we can uh, bank shot it off things, make it a little more difficult seeing as we're so big and that they're so small. my room. Come on in. Pretty clean today for the first time in a long time. This is my uh, Rosan Red Wings jersey. It's one of the jerseys from their undefeated season last year. Uh, most of these pictures on the wall are, they, they come with the room. Heather puts them up for the guys, so. This is my, I guess you'd call it my office. Sit down, I got my computer in the corner. I got my schoolwork off to of, off of the side here. Spent a lot of time just on the computer, watching videos, stuff like that. This is my, uh, got my dresser, got my movie collection and my uh, TV series collection, a few books in there, a few uh, brunch cookbooks, stuff like that, I really cooking brunch. Big, I'm a big hat guy, it's only a small part of the collection, but you know, most of them are sitting back home in Rosetown, but these are the ones I use in this straw here. This is uh, my private layer of the cave. This is my room. It's a little messier in Kendall's. Didn't really uh, go through the effort to clean it like he did. Uh, got my uh, suits over here. Some t-shirts, whatnot. Some clothes that Heather folded for me. Haven't uh, put them away yet. It's kind of a messy little dresser here with the real fruit gummies. Those. Got my uh, electronics here, my uh, playbook, laptop. Never leave home without these bad boys. My Beats by Dre. Yeah, now I got some posters like Kendall too. Love that one. Tila, Tila, Tila. You're insane. Thanks for coming to our crib. 
But we gotta play us some OT here, so get out of here. today if you just go outside the doors here to the next set of glass doors for mosaic place you'll find the box office and get tickets to the game yay thanks Morty souvenir store. You want to go straight through those closed doors. Well, there you have it, our first edition of Warriors TV brought to you by Mosaic. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Be sure to log on to mjwarriors.ca for more details and information on your Moose Jaw Warriors, which includes the game schedule as well as to be able to purchase tickets. You can also log on and tune in to our broadcast as the Moose Jaw Warriors head down the playoff stretch. <laughs>